G'day ladies and gentlemen, Jacko G Freak coming at you with another brand new video today and we're going to be talking about the initial thoughts of mine on Warzone and well, it may not be the most popular opinion, however, it's mine and subject to change. So when I put in more hours into the game, it most likely will change, who knows, but for now, this is what my opinion is and I'm curious to know what you guys think about it in the comment section below as I'm always of the opinion you know, to stay optimistic about these type of games, considering that it, it's, you know, it's going to be the game that I'm going to be playing predominantly whilst, you know, putting in countless hours over the next year or so. So, yes, I've done a, a few skill-based matchmaking uh, videos. However, that's meta to grow the channel type of thing. And it gets the clicks, gets you guys talking and everything like that. It brings in the new folk to the channel. And let's be real, though, it is bullshit and it should definitely be in ranked only. But we ain't here to talk about that. Now, we're going to be coming, covering some things today, such as the map itself, um, compared to previous maps. You know, this is Urzik that we're playing on, compared to Verdansk, um, and as well as uh, Caldera. Ugh. That, see, I couldn't even remember the name. Like, it, I just wanted it to be out of my, my head. It's, it's just it's just terrible. Um, and then other, other maps and whatnot. So... You know, we're, we're looking over those types of things, as well as gunplay, skill-based matchmaking, uh, movement, vests, the vests that are on the ground that you can pick up, the game modes themselves, solo, duos, trios, and quads. Um, however, let's start with the map. Now, the map has a lot of water crossings. It reminds me of the Blackout map, which had a couple um, of water crossings, but I'm not a massive fan of them, as it does break the flow up of the map. Um, it does seem to just, I don't know, swimming and dying has got to be the worst way to go out in Warzone, like on the rotation. Obviously, you know, if you're being gate kept and you have to swim, it, it's it's a tricky situation because it's just shooting fish in a barrel. But the alternative is to rotate earlier, and I get that. But it's kind of hard when some people are like crouch walking around the map, mainly in solos. Like if you've ever played solos, my God, like people just crouch walk everywhere. You've got to check your back constantly to make sure that you're on the early rotations and everything um, as, as well as like the audio because sometimes it can be a little bit inconsistent when it comes to that those types of things so but when you when it comes to the water gameplay itself like when you're in the water looking out onto the onto the land it actually is very clear but when you're in the water once again you have a pistol and it's kind of a little bit shoddy so and I want to remind you guys as well that I'm playing a solo duos right now. Yes, I am partying up with someone, um, but it is a complete random. Never played with them before. Uh, random Q duos. So I guess it's not really solo duos. It's random Q duos. But anyway, now the map has a lot of verticality to it. It's a bit too clustered, I think. Um, I love the Vidanks map the most where it had some open parts and you could play with some smokes. You had like heaps of rock cover. You've had the bollards or the, the barricades. You also had like little little dips and, and valleys and, and peaks and valleys on just the surface because of the ground, the way it was. Um, and, and that was great. But this map seems to be pretty flat, square, stairs, verticality in buildings, like two levels and then 20 levels up and then two more levels type of thing. That's kind of how this map plays. Um, I, I don't think... Like, I'm, I'm, I'm staying optimistic. I really like that. That's great. It's something different, kind of. It's like a hybrid between Verdanks and Caldera. But, like, with Caldera, there was so much shrubbery and bushery. You couldn't even see anyone. Like, that game, it just felt a little bit off. Like, it just didn't... It didn't slap like Verdanks did. And this, this game itself, which we'll talk about the movement shortly... It, it still is a little bit off, and it it feels like a more polished version of Warzone 2. Is this is this Warzone 3? I, I, do we... Or is it just... War, like, I don't know, what whatever you call it. I nearly died right here as well. I have to play that one safe. Um, but you could you could do a lot more things on Verdansk compared to this map. Um, this map, there's... there's It's just... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I, I've, got to, I've got to play a little bit more. Um, oh, it'll grow on me. I think it'll grow on me. I hope it will. I'm remaining optimistic. Remember, optimism is the best way. You don't want to be complaining all the time. Um, so, but moving on to the gunplay, there are a few metas floating around. However, there's not one that stands out yet, which is great. I like that. I really like that. So it's more enjoyable for us as players and creators as well, and you guys as well in the chat, um, for it to be have to have some sort of variety. Uh, you know, but I guess like once it like once everyone later down the track gets hold of the metas and are using the same stuff you have to be 
using those specific classes to remain competitive with the rest of the competition, which is a little bit, it's a little bit frustrating. Like, I'm, I'm not a fan of that. Like, I'd, I'd like to use every gun and remain competitive with every gun, but I also kind of get it that they want to push. Like, the way it kind of works is in the stories, we all know that the good guns are in the micro transaction transactions and everything like that. So, it's... It's, you know, a gun comes out in the store, it's really OP, they, they push it so everyone buys it, then it gets nerfed after everyone's got it, like a, a season afterwards, and now it's onto the next gun in the store and everything. We, we kind of know how that works for the, the Activision shareholders, but anyway, the clarity on this map is really good. And actually, jumping into the Gulag, I like it. I kind of I kind of like this Gulag. Like, it... it, it I don't know, like, I'm, I feel like I'm getting a little bit too nostalgic, but I like it. It's a three-lane, there's middle and sides uh so i like that part it can be a little bit weird when, with the guns uh they can be a little bit not competitive uh, when it comes to that and it just feels like you, you you're doing a pea shooter and everything so i start i put on the open mic here because i'm just making sure i can talk to my teammate even though it's a bit of a disadvantage but the gulag it feels pretty good it feels good and it's like i said it's something different i guess when it comes to the first uh variation of something they either nail it or they don't and when it came to Verdansk, they nailed everything. Um, they, they pretty much nailed that game on the, on its head, as well as the perfect storm when it came to COVID. And everyone was like home, isolating, staying away from everyone. But they would obviously connect via online services, which, you know, Warzone and Fortnite and everything like that. Now, the clarity of the map is great. I can see quite well. However, when it comes to the pings on the map, it is a little bit hindering to my vision uh it covers the whole target like let's say for example i ping a target and ping so on it'll just cover them like a whole red dot depending on how far away they are it'd be good if i could ping and then unping you know because that would be great like you can ping it it stays on there for a while and then you can unping it but i need it to be instantaneous because i know that a lot of teammates of mine that i play with love pinging they just ping the shit out of everything and they don't remove pings, and it's frustrating. Um, like, a fast way for you guys to do to unping is just open the minimap and press R3. It removes all pings from the map, so it makes it so much easier. So you just press up on the ping, go for the ping, and then open minimap and press R3, so it disappears. But obviously, that's fine for when you're running around the map and doing those types of things. But if you're in the middle of a gunfight, you're pinging, and you're trying to get rid of the ping, it's just, it just stays there. It's really it's really invasive and everything. So that's 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 one you know bit of complaint that I have now. With the guns, there does seem to be a bit of a slight meta, and it's good to see people using new guns, experiencing them, and finding what works and what doesn't, such as the the pull mount. I don't even know how you say this gun. The pull mount, uh, the poo, the big poo LMG, uh, the DG58, uh, which is an AR, the burst, and the Bass B. That's great as well. You've got the Uzi, little Uzi, um, but I'll make a video on this afterwards with the the, the top five metas that are out there right now. Um, which I personally prefer the most. Um, in this video, I'm using the MTZ um, inhibitor. So it's a great gun. It's a four shot any range and it just collapses people. And then I'm using also this Bass B and you can see this guy just gets melted by it. Um, I play, I have to play the distance here. I, I get a little bit scared. He has the head glitch, so I'm playing a little bit of distance here. I, pull, I jump in here, pull out the MTZ and then I just go for the pings. I nearly lost the gunfight. My teammate was upstairs luckily, which is good. Um, but look, in the end, we won the gunfight, which is good. So happy days. That guy was a little bit competitive, but anyway, so they're pretty balanced. The guns, they're pretty balanced. Now, when it t comes to the time to kill, I think it's a little bit too fast. When running around, you get melted. Like it's pretty crazy that multiplayer feels, multiplayer has grown on me. It feels good. Um, but this feels slightly off. Like maybe it's my, like my inner apex when I've been playing that for the past few months coming out, um, and wanting there to be more HP, but it just seems that the ratio of speed to dot, like time to kill in multiplayer seems to be completely off when it comes to Warzone time to kill. So like it should be a little bit more, but it's just, it just feels, it feels way too fast. Like it feels like I'm playing multiplayer in Warzone. Like I, f I feel like I should have more HP. Like I've got three plates on, God damn it. Give me more HP, son. Anyway, so if that makes sense, let me know in the comment section below because... I don't know if I'm just rambling here on that, but it just feels a little bit too quick, man. Anyway, ground loot seems to be standard. Nothing too crazy. Still trying to find out what works best and what to prioritize. Uh, there's a couple of burst guns like the FR556. There's the SMGs and everything that come out as well. They go all right. They're not too bad. Obviously, prioritize your own loot 
over the ground loot stuff. Um, but, you know, go for those purple guns if you are on the ground and dropping back late. Now, is there skill best matchmaking in Warzone? I honestly have no idea. I've got no idea. I have no idea. From what it feels like, these are the sweatiest games I've ever fucking played in a Warzone game. It's ridiculous. Like, this is actually crazy. I'm jumping into a game, right? And I'm just getting crouch walked on. I'm getting slide cancel around corners. I'm getting shot in the back everywhere. I'm just getting, like... And I'm a, I'm a seasoned veteran Warzone player. Like, I'm normally a 4.5 KD player. Now, in this game, I'm like a... a, a at 2.7 KD. Like, that's kind of embarrassing for myself. And I need to be lifting that up a bit too. So, I think I'm playing a little bit too aggressively, uh, come to think of it. But, and I need to find, find my rhythm a little bit more. But everyone's so sweaty, man. Now, this weekend, just gone, um, I've played a few games. And there's definitely a bigger player base. So, there's a little bit more of, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a spread over the bell curve of bad to good to really good players on that curve. But... It's so sweaty. It is. It's very sweaty. So I get everyone wants to be like the next Diaz Biffle and whatnot. I get that. But it's just, it's it's sweaty out there. I don't think skill based matchmaking is part of Warzone. I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. And I'm open to be proven wrong on that one. So let me know in the comment section below if you've had any encounters with skill based matchmaking or whatever. I feel like there's sweaty players in every lobby. Regardless, the game's been out for so long. It's just crazy. Now, the movement does feel better than the last war zone, but not like I'm having to spam my controller slide cancelling everywhere. It feels like a slight chance whilst running out in the open, like, you know, I can dodge, duck, and weave bullets. I have I have a bit of a chance, but when I'm, you know, on previous titles, when you were out in the open, it just felt a little bit too slow. So I think they've got that right. It feels pretty good. Um, I don't mind it. I'm not destroying my controller, which is always handy. Now, this is the water gameplay that I'm talking about. Like, you jump into the water. It feels a little bit weird. And one thing that I learned is that if you stay underwater and you need to stay underwater for a long time, if you're, like, sprint swimming under the water, your bar, your your oxygen bar goes down faster. So make sure to slowly move and just move your stick slowly if that's the case, if you need to stay underwater for a long time because that is something that doesn't deplete your oxygen as, as fast as sprinting underwater. The swimming. So, now, this year in Warzone, there are a few new vests, and they consist of... There's four. There's four. They consist of the comms vest, the medic vest, the stealth vest, and tempered vest. Now, the comms vest increases the effectiveness of UAVs showing all enemy players in direction and bearing out, um, bearing on the minimap. The medic vest increases the speed of which players can... Revive down squad members and also decreases the delay before health regeneration triggers. Stealth vest protects players from enemy UAVs on targeting devices, effectively acting as superior alternative to Ghost as it provides immunity to bird's eye. And the Tempest vest acts as an improved armor vest that protects the same protection as three plate carrier while only needing two plates. This vest makes it faster and cheap, cheaper to heal up. So you're not having to stow away as many plates and everything like that. So that's it's always handy. Uh, personally, I love the comms vest the most, and then I'd be going for either Tempered or Medic. Um, and the last one is Stealth. Like, I don't rock any ghosts or anything like that. Like, come at me. Like, players, come at me, bro. Like, let's go. Let's let's tango. Um, you get more kills that way and everything like that. And if you're not getting any gunfights in Warzone, then you're not going to be improving. So make sure to get yourself in as many gunfights as possible. Um, and obviously, within reason, you know, make sure that you put yourself in the best position possible to get that kill. Get that frag and send him to the gulag all end of the game and win that clutch up um but i love how you can reload whilst running that is an amazing default perk everyone has to increase the flow of the pace of the game 20 minute games it's fantastic you can slot just just don't well three you can slot slot three games if you win all three uh within the hour so 60 minutes you know 20 you know that's three Roughly with lobby queue times and everything, it's a little bit. It might be a little bit faster in America or EU, EU or wherever you what are watching for compared to Australia, um, but it it feels good. It feels good. Now, the pace of the game when it comes to trios, quads, it's like that's that's pretty hectic. It gets pretty crazy. Now, solos and duos, super campy, bro. Like, people are crouch walking everywhere. The duo with neck beards holding hands. That's just crazy. It is some crazy shit going on in duos and solos. Like, if you're a patient player, you've you play solos, okay? Play solos. I don't know. What would you say for this game is a good amount of kills when there's only 100 people? What would you say? Um, 
I would say anywhere from 10 to 20 is a nice amount of kills. That's that's pretty good, I think. In previous titles, it was probably at least 20 minimum because of the fact that there's 150 people. And lobbies do last longer. Like, there's more people in the final zones than there were in previous games, which is interesting and pretty cool at the same time. It makes for a bit pretty chaotic uh, final couple of circles. And um, on this game here, I, I kind of frag out a few more frags, uh, get 10 in the end, but we don't win. We don't clutch the win, which is unfortunate. But look, so far, all in all, I'm liking it. Only secured a few wins, um, but a vibe on the new map, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It's refreshing. No gun meta at the moment. It Well, there is a few, but it's not, it's not, it's not the dominant, just one gun. There's a few that you can use and muck around with as it's limit, not limited to the one gun. Um, and there's a lot to learn on this game. Like, there's a lot of vests, there's different ground loot, there's different play, like locations and, and whatnot. We're going to be definitely doing our best spots to drop in Warzone in the coming weeks as well. Uh, once I drop in, you know, experiment with a few, a few places and, and, and whatnot. So I'm keen to show that with you guys. So make sure to subscribe and keep up to date with the channel. And um, let's see how it comes together later in the season. Let me know what you guys think of the new Warzone update. But until then, remember to be safe, stay small, and as always, boom baby. Peace. See you guys in the next one. Bye.